Hello everyone, this is Gaurav from Automation Hacks and welcome to a new video on Report Portal. In this video, we are going to take a look at how the launches uh, screen looks like, um, how does Report Portal do auto analysis of previously done uh, analysis on a failed bug and uh, you know tags the cases automatically. So let's get started. So in the previous video, we learned how to uh, install Docker, um, start up the containers, create a project, push results into it, and then, um, you know, just try to understand a general basics about like report portal logging and things like that. Uh, if you have not watched that video, um, I would leave a link to it. Please watch that uh, first. And now let's proceed. So, uh, with report portal like the one of the beautiful features that it has is uh, you can see all your past sort of test suit runs uh, in a very interactive kind of dashboard so if here like if you come to launches you can see that um, there are a bunch of different uh, sort of launches here right and what you'll notice is for a given launch which is which you can think of it as just a test suit um, every new run will have a new number appended to it you can understand how long ago that given test was started. So like there are tests that were started one hour ago. Uh, you can understand how long this actual test suit took. Um, who was the user uh, that actually triggered this test? Um, and then you can see that there are some bunch of additional attributes and we'll come to it in just a moment. Um, you can take a look at all the test cases in one shot to see like, okay, what are passed and what failed. If it failed, then you can see, okay, a small exception trace right here. So you can just take a look at, okay, what went wrong with the uh, test create, right? So let's uh, inspect, say, one of the passing cases and then one of the failing cases. So if you take a look at a happy part test that is working fine, which is all good, you can see that the stack trace is empty. Uh, logs are, uh, there are no logs for this right now. There are no attachments uh, in the item details. You can see the code reference basically where in the actual code this given test is present. Uh, what is the unique ID for that test? Um, you will see that there are some additional sort of tags at a test level. I'll show that in a moment and uh, history of action is empty, right? Uh, which is good. Uh, we want green tests, but we also want like failing tests, right? To understand things better. Uh, you'll see like if there are before class and after class sort of tear down and setups, then report portal captures those as well as distinct uh, parts of the system. Um, you can see that uh, when you see a failed test, you have the capability to say filter logs. Now in this case, uh, there is only one single log. So it's showing there, but say you give different logging levels to your logs, you can also filter uh, additional details. Um, and now, uh, given that this is failed, um, what can we do? Like, you know, like you can see that, okay, this was launched with group test infra with test type as backend, and this is left to investigate. So I can basically take a look at this test, um, see the stack trace, try to understand what it is and then make a decision. So I can say, um, when I come to make a decision, uh, you can see right now it gives one stack trace. But say this test keeps on uh, running and keeps on failing constantly, you start to see that there is a feature called as auto analysis that uh, uses machine learning to figure out, um, you know, automatically tag uh, the cases. So a subsequent run will auto get tagged with whatever action you take here. Um, and coming to this part, you can take a decision in terms of say that, okay, was this a product bug? Was this an automation bug or a system issue? Uh, and things like that. So in this case, say we say that this was an actual product bug, um, then I can say uh, the status code does not match. The identity team needs to fix this, right? I can just add a simple comment here and uh, let's come, come to this. And you can see now that a comment is actually included on that given test. So if I come back, you'll see now the defect type is uh, changed from to investigate to product bug. And my comment is displayed here. 
so now uh, say this test was actually identity tests right and let me uh, run the test suit again just to demonstrate so say i trigger the same test suit again let it run for a moment um, so notice that this is run number five uh, and run number six is already created so now if you come here you can see that um, okay i see the failures as five uh, so one of the failures is reduced which is good but uh, there is one auto tagging right you can see the test create uh, there is an aa here which specifies that it is auto analyzed by report portal basically the same test failed again and uh, it failed with the same status code so report portal was smart enough to figure that okay i had done the analysis for this in the previous run and uh, it just tags it for me so saving me a lot of uh, effort you know i don't need to reanalyze this uh, test which is fantastic so now um, also like uh, you, some additional things at a suit level you can figure out what are the different unique failures right um, there is the log view and history uh, in terms of like say i want to just see for a given test like uh, how was it looking like you can see that okay this has started failing in the past four executions but but it was like green previously so this is uh, pretty nice now um, like say uh, i want to do something more right like so i've come to this test uh, come to this failure here uh, want to make a decision and um, this was automatically suggested which is nice uh, later on you can also configure jira integration so you can actually just directly create a bug in jira using report portal so we can discuss that further uh, with say an open source implementation or i'll point you in the documentation where you can reach out yeah so now this is like the basic sort of uh, interaction how you work with report portal uh, from the launches view right and that's all for this video i hope this gives you a flavor of how you can use report portal to analyze failures uh, in your test suits how auto analysis can be done and you'll start leveraging these capabilities right out of the box content like this does take an effort uh, and if you're liking it do give this video a like give the channel a sub and i'll see you next time